Hello guys, in this video I'm going to go through uh, my different tiers. Uh, I, I just tested out some tiers and how it works and like, yeah, whatever, uh, the capabilities of it. So I ran into a few problems, so I'm thinking of updating it, updating the rig to 1.8, uh, 8.1, sorry. And this will be a free update because it's just a minor update because of the, some tiers. Um, I'm thinking of adding a different type of tier and everything and maybe um, some features have to be removed and some people some add-ons and stuff anyway so they'll be free and so let's get to the what I did in this video so I basically first animated with the skeleton low poly tier which is basically this one right here uh, right here the 180 FPS as you can see it goes to 180 um, yeah like that um, and then once I finished animating with that, I needed to get the facial features animated. So basically what I did then was I um, then loaded in a slightly higher quality mesh for the head and then I animated the facial features. But as, as you can see, the body is still low poly. Um, it's a, I, don't need to, I don't need to see a high poly body. And then finally, I transferred the keyframes to the highest tier of the rig. And as you can see, the body is extruded, and we got nice bends, and we got uh, high quality face and extruded hair, and everything is good, except the frame rate is slightly lower. So, say you have a good computer, and you can you're able to have this guy in the scene, then you can just do like this, just bring, uh, bring it all the way down, and it's still quite a good frame rate and when you render when you render finally you can see it is actually rendering the high poly mesh so you don't need to worry about having this guy this 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 one like highest quality you can put it there and then have him in the scene and in the final render it will be a high poly mesh and yeah uh, but I would suggest when you are animating like a large scene you would have um, this fellow in and then once you're done animating all the other components see in this one you can see the mesh you can see you can see the mesh and moving and stuff so you have an idea of where he is in the scene so once you're done animating all the other components around him like a fight scene then you can finally uh, once you're about to render you can finally load this guy in and it's ready it's like that easy so basically what I did, uh, I have these tiers here. So I would first animate with this, then I then copy and paste the keyframes onto this, and then animate the facial features, and then finally copy and paste it onto this guy. And yeah, it's uh, very simple. You can even now do that. And yeah, uh, so enjoy the time lapse, and I will update the rig soon and make a video on it. And yeah, let's get started.
Wow, wow, wow.